it's Hannah from Knit Nottingham and I'm giving you an update on my autumn projects. Um, I was just thinking that I haven't actually done much but looking at it all laid out on the table I have actually done quite a bit in three weeks. So where shall I start? Um, I've done quite a bit on Dan's jumper. We finally settled on a pattern. Um, oh I'll show you the pattern first actually. It's a Rico pattern. Um, and it's got some really nice texture in it. It's sort of, it's a reverse gar um, gar stitch, a reverse stocking stitch. And then every so often it's got like an actual stocking stitch stitch, if that makes sense. So it's going to have really nice texture to it. And it's coming up really nicely so far. Shall I hold it up or is that okay? That's okay. Um, yeah, so it's showing the wool off really well. I really like the self-striping. And the wool that I'm using is the Explorer Super Chunky by King Cole. We're using the colour Tubman and it is 80% acrylic and 20% wool. It feels so soft. It's got a really nice, if I hold it up, it's got a really nice drape. I think you're going to really like it then when it's done. Very cosy. When it's done. When it's done. Um, but I've done, I'm, I'm just about to decrease for the armholes on the back. So I've done maybe like a sixth of the jumper um, but that's not too bad so that is Dan's jumper there um, and the other thing that I said that I was working on I spoke about this a little bit in our last podcast episode this is the Tamar jumper it's a rowan pattern but I'm using I'll do it that way I'm using King Cole Orchard and Majestic DK so I've almost done one rainbow repeat of this. It's moss stitch, so I've done the ribbon and then I've started the moss stitch stripes and I'm really really enjoying it. I love how it's looking. I've changed some of the colours from um, the swatch that I did. I swapped out the brown, um, I can't even remember now, was the brown the blue or no it, it was a sky blue and I put like a more petrol blue in and I've done a brighty yellow more richer colour. So the next colour that I've got to put in is this one which is Orchard DK and this is shade Scrumptious. Lovely. I'm really enjoying doing that. I need to do some more work on that. So they were my two projects that I had in my autumn projects video and the rest are all side quests. So I've done a hat. I've done a hat for a baby that is imminently going to be born. Let's move that out of the way. So I've done this hat here with the ear flaps. I'm yet to do the pom pom, but how blooming cute is that? That is a Rico pattern, and it's knit in Rico Baby Classic DK. 50 gram balls, 50% acrylic and 50% nylon. So it's got quite a bit of durability, which you need for a baby garment. So this is said hat. It's still on the needles and it still needs all the ends weaving in and I still need to sew it up. But here we are, look at the little ear flaps. Yeah, you get the idea. And I'm going to block it as well, I think. How cute and it'll have a little pom-pom on. I've done the first size, so this is suitable for naught to three months, I think it was. But he's going to be born in... November, so it'll be a really good hat for mum to use. The next side quest, um, a lady came in the other day and she had knitted a jumper in Chunky Tweed um, by King Cole in this colour, which is called, oh gosh, I can't pronounce it, Tear, Tire, but it's like a cream and it's got all different coloured speckles. It's got greens, yellows, red speckles, not speckles, tweedy bits. And this wool was one that we put downstairs and we sort of written off and we were deciding whether to put it into the sale because we had loads left. Um, in our opinion, we just had really boring colours. So we'd put it downstairs, we were considering whether to put it into the sale. But when she bought this jumper in to show us, it looked so nice knitted up. So we decided we'd get it out, I'd knit a swatch. So I'm done, I'm nearly done, I should say, a swatch of it. This is... I can't remember what this colour's called now. Um, but this is my favourite of the colours that we've got with the grey and then all of the different coloured nets in it as well. And I really like how it's 
I really like how it looks. It needs blocking. Um, <laughs> Dan is trying carefully to reach the colour. Oh gosh, I can't pronounce that either. Eeg? Mm. <laughs> but that's, and we've moved it as well. So we've made a little bit of a display of it and it's, it sold quite well over the weekend. So once I've finished this, I mean, I've only got, maybe I'll do a few more rows and then call it quits. Um, but yeah, now that's making me want to make something in that. And I just haven't got time. Okay, so that is that side quest. That's for the shop. And then we did our first event. Um, oh gosh, maybe it was two weeks ago now. And I didn't just want to be standing behind a table waiting for customers to come. So I thought I'm going to take a little crochet project because it's easy to do with us and like you can put it down and pick it back up easily. So I wanted to try out the big value DK, the 50 gram balls that we have. So I've used a few colours of this and then a couple of colours of King Cole price wise as well. And I'm making a hexicardi for our daughter. Um, and it's very autumnal, the colours are going to be gorgeous with her hair it will really suit her. i'm going to do an orange um just a double crochet orange border around the edge however i have joined it together um and i am gonna unjoin it un unjoin it i don't know, I think that's the word um and just do a couple more um rows in the back to make it a bit wider so then the neck is better that, that that was a terrible sentence. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I'm going to take this brown row out that I've done and do a couple more rows before rejoining it. So then when um, I do the border around the edge, this is a little bit wider. So it's probably going to be a little bit big for her. But she she's constantly growing, so she'll grow into it. But I just love the colours. And I've got some left over. So I'm going to use the leftovers to make some granny squares for my granny square skirt that I mentioned in my autumn project video so that's gonna it's gonna go to use and I just really like the colours and I kind of want one myself I might have to make me one as well which is fine because we've got a hexicardi workshop coming up soon so I can always start another hexicardi for me to wear um so that is what is that the third the third one that wasn't on my project list and the fourth one I'm really excited about this is what I've been doing for the last couple of evenings we um, saw the Rowan rep earlier in the week and we decided to get this book by Rowan. It's called Carousel. It's Martin Story. Martin Story is one of the most popular designers for Rowan and he does some really lovely, really lovely patterns. So we bought the book in and we're going to do a bundle. And this is the hat that we're doing the bundle for. It's called the Daystar hat. Um, and we've chosen to do a bundle because it just uses two colours, 50 grams of each colour. Um, and it's a really nice hat, it's a really nice wool. And it just means that you can have a go at using a Rowan pattern and using Rowan wool without having to make that big investment, I suppose. Um, so that's the hat pattern. And so far, I mean, this is the wool as well. It's alpaca soft 70% wool 30% alpaca and it is lovely it is so nice and squishy and soft and I've really enjoyed doing <laughs> the little bit that I've done so far I've almost finished the rib I think I've got um two rows left on the rib so that's how far I've got in the last couple of evenings and it really does feel lovely so this is a shop sample, so this will be on display in the shop when I finished it. Um, and I've really, really enjoyed using it, so I'm definitely going to see what other um, patterns are available for the alpaca soft, just for myself, not necessarily for the shop. Can we just admire my floats, please? How lovely, how neat and tidy is that? I'm very impressed with myself. <laughs> um, so I think... That is all I've been up to in the past three weeks. Um, today is the day that Rika Rumi starts. This is their, um, their Christmas crochet along. Let me move that out of the way. 
And as soon as I saw this, I had to get it because I absolutely love this little mouse. Little mouse with the candy cane. Um, and I really wanted to make it for our daughter for Christmas. So we've got the um, crochet along kits in. We've only got a couple left. It starts today. Um, and in the kit, you get... Oh, I can't wait to get home and start this. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. Oh, it's here. You get this lovely box, which I really like. And then it comes with the QR code that you scan to get the patterns they're released weekly. And then it comes with all of the colours that you need to make everything. This this colour is lovely. Stocking, restocking, I should say, the Rika Rumi stand is stands multiple because we have three. Is one of my favourite jobs. I just love the little the little balls of wool. Um so yeah, so that starts today. So this evening, that is what I'm going to be sitting down and doing. I've got no idea because I've not had a look this morning at what the first week's pattern is. Fingers crossed it is the mouse because I really want to make her. Um, and yeah. Should we look at the other ones on the ball band? Oh yeah, if you want. I mean, it's all about the mouse. So obviously we have this little mouse in a bonnet. How blooming cute. There is also um, a Christmas tree. I love his little star. Um, I've just gendered the Christmas tree. Awkward. Um, and then there's also, I don't know, is this a, is this a mouse? A gingerbread mouse? I don't know. But I like that they have a sprinkle hat. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else or if it is just those three. It looks like it's just the three. But they're going to be so cute sat, like, in and around the Christmas tree. So, yeah, I think... That is everything. I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks I'll have some finished projects to show you because I've already started planning my winter knits and there's some really cool ones so I'm itching to get started on those but I've got to finish all these first. While we have you, um, we bought in another Rowan book and this is a felt of tweed. Book. Um, we tried to get this jumper as a sample, but they don't have it available. Apparently it's gone missing. This is by Lisa Richardson. And I don't know whether those pictures are a little bit small. Let me look how beautiful. She looks like Kate Winslet, doesn't she? Mm. She's lovely. Um, but yes, this jumper, we tried to get it for the window, but Rowan didn't have it in stock. And I have not got the time, clearly, to be making it. So... We have all the colours available to make this. Um, and there's also this cardigan. We asked for a sample of this as well, but that's gone walkabouts too. Um, this one is lovely. I'm assuming that this is two colours held together, which I'm a big fan of. It creates like a mild effect. And the purple and the red, that is very nice. A very nice combo. And there's a nice vest. Vests are very in this year. We can't seem to keep that pattern in stock. And this nice crossover. I'm a big fan of a crossover cardigan. Um, you'll see that when I do my winter knitting projects video. A nice little scarf. Just lots of patterns you want to make. <laughs> There's just not enough, not enough time for all of the patterns that I would like to make. But yes, thank you for watching. Next time I promise, fingers crossed, I promise that I will have some finished objects to show you. And then we'll be moving on to winter which is exciting. My mood board, I've already started the mood board. I'm so excited. Right, we'll see you soon. Um, have a nice day, evening, morning, whatever you're doing, and see you soon. Bye.